There are some places in the Hawaiian Islands that have become so popular, they're crowded. This is especially true on the islands of Oahu and Maui, where you'll find over 80% of all visitors. To find a more private paradise, look to the less developed islands of Molokai and Lanai. Both make for wonderful escapes, and each island offers a distinctly different experience. Molokai is the least developed. It welcomes visitors without much fanfare. It's probably the ultimate backroads island. Molokai is not for everyone. You either like our island or you don't like it. There's no in-betweens. And tiny Lanai, home to cool pine forests and fewer than 3,000 residents, is really a small town in the middle of the ocean. There's a feeling of, of just hospitality on the island all the time among the people that live here and for the people that visit here. And what you'll find here is a quiet, little-known island that's happy to have you visit. Look at that, we're seeing, uh, what, the water Molokai over We there? got Molokai right on to our left side, and we got Maui right here. You're looking at Lahaina side here. This is paradise. It is paradise for those who want to escape the working world and soothe their jangled nerves. It's good for golfers, too, even though they seldom seem to relax. Four-wheel drive exploring on Lanai's dirt roads and horseback riding on high plateaus hold their own pleasures. Lanai is also a sea lover's paradise. The limited development on the island has helped keep the waters around it crystal clear. Diving back here is, is by Skin Diver Magazine rated in the top 10 in the world. The crew of Trilogy takes visitors snorkeling and scuba diving along Lanai's rugged coast. Jim Coons is Trilogy's skipper and owner. You know, Doug, this, this is a really wonderful spot. And King Kamehameha, when he was king of all the Hawaiian Islands, chose this spot as his summer palace. And it's most likely that King Kamehameha himself swam in these pristine waters. And they're just in, in its royal swimming grounds today as well. Jim and his crew enable visitors to see the other 50% of Hawaii's incredible beauty, the underwater half. Divers can swim with eagle rays, encounter sharks, and pet an octopus. Oh, it's great. And for the less experienced, it is a wonderful place to discover snorkeling. Lanai has long been Hawaii's private island. 98% of it is owned by the Dole Food Company. The pineapple plantation is gone now. It's been replaced by two world-class resorts. Above the white sands of Hulipoi Beach sits the Manelli Bay Hotel. Higher up the island, surrounded by Norfolk Pines, is the lodge at Coele. Both resorts are expensive. Rooms start at $295 per night. But both are impressive and have earned international reputations. Aside from a few B&Bs, the original Hotel Lanai a 10-room plantation-style building, is the moderately priced lodging option. Lanai offers a comfortable, relaxed, and somewhat upscale getaway. Molokai, on the other hand, just a few miles to the north, is another world, the ultimate backroads island. Visitors are welcomed here, but certainly not pampered. If you're looking for fancy resorts, lots of restaurants, and nightlife, you do not want to come out here to Molokai. You come to Molokai to get away from all of that. Out here, nature provides the sustenance 
and the entertainment. Molokai has only a few places to stay and even fewer spots to eat, but it does have some of nature's best, windswept coasts, tropical rainforests, the world's tallest sea cliffs, miles of uncrowded reefs, and rich history, both proud and painful. Alex, look at this. This is not a bad place for this, uh, this trip to take us. Yeah. Many of Molokai's best destinations can only be reached by dirt roads. Alex Pua'a guides visitors to these difficult to reach locations. Alex leads the way from the remote coast to dense rainforests. This is uh, where I bring my children, my grandchildren today. To spectacular vistas. This is uh, Waikolo Valley. This is incredible. This, uh -huh. What a view this is. And even Molokai's main town. You see, so far I haven't been overwhelmed by traffic over here. Oh, We're no. standing on the middle of the street here talking. Oh yeah, traffic here is considered seven cars regardless of direction. Molokai has no traffic lights and often only two police officers to patrol the entire island. So this is a really pretty friendly island. People are pretty oh, yeah. welcoming of uh, those of us who show up. Oh yeah, because we're Ohana, everyone's his family. Yeah? So your family too. If you're looking to get away from it all, try this, sea kayaking along the south shore. We have this entire reef for how many miles and we're the only guys out here? Oh, roughly 38 miles of it. You may come upon green sea turtles, maybe a humpback whale with her calf. But you won't see many people, which is good. You can kayak surf, and no one will see you flip. Well, this is the north shore of Molokai. It is rugged and spectacular, almost beyond description. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited, and also one of the saddest. It's called Kalapapa and it's known around the world as Father Damien's leper colony. For nearly a hundred years, Hawaiians with leprosy, also called Hansen's disease, were exiled on this peninsula. Imposing cliffs sealed them off from civilization. Richard, this uh, place out here looks like paradise. Looks yeah, like... yeah, now it does. When they were dragged in here kicking and screaming, it wasn't paradise. They did not. I never heard of one patient that came in here willingly. Because this is trying to families go up together, but... But 17,000 patients never got out of here alive. And neither did Father Damien, a Belgian Catholic priest who almost single-handedly cared for those with leprosy here from 1873 to 1889. He contracted the disease himself and died at the age of 49. Richard now drives an old school bus and shares the breathtaking beauty and heartbreaking story of Kalapapa with visitors. That bay is where Father Damon found the leprosy patients when he arrived. They were put in there to survive on their own. Damon was the first breath of hope that they had. You can only get here by hiking down the cliffs or riding down on mules or flying in to the tiny airstrip. No roads lead to Kalapapa. All visits must be guided and arranged in advance. Kalapapa is not your typical vacation destination, but this I can promise you, a visit here is an experience you will never in your life forget. Molokai and Lanai offer escapes from an increasingly crowded world. They are both islands where you can find a more private piece of paradise. For information about Molokai and Lanai, call the Backroads Hotline at 808-5000. This will connect you to CityLine, then simply enter category number 4400. Stay with us. We'll head back home for a getaway to the Mendocino Coast, and we'll explore the backroads of the Internet.